So now I've just clicked onto the weight tool and onto the pelvis and what I can see here is the area of weight that pelvis has selected. And we can see it around there, the area it has. We could possibly do it adding a little bit here because it doesn't look too great. And now it's just a case really of going around and I'm just going to change my strength and radius and all they do is in this mode of add adds to what's already here so uh, there's a little area there that's black and that means it's not selected so strength is the strength I'm going to paint with radius is the radius of the brush and if I zoom in then it shouldn't be too bad I can just click here to paint in there like such and in fact if I uncheck visible only it will paint it a lot faster there we go and at this stage we're just going to do that with most of the bones actually just to go through make sure everything's okay as we can see here it's quite high up it's got quite an area of influence up here we don't really want it to have an area of influence so high um, so to get rid of that again we click on the weight tool we change this to either erase or abs it doesn't really matter absolute makes absolute zero so if we put in zero it will paint absolutely at zero removing anything in between and again this utility belt here probably don't want too much of that moving with it there, that's fine and down to the knee that looks good and the ankle looks fine too it's just around the hips usually you have to do a little bit of work maybe here could do with removing some of that there we go good right thigh I'm sure there's gonna be some problems around here I'm just gonna get rid of some of this area up here don't really want half of this gun moving again it shows the problems you get if you try and put a holster on someone and they walk down to the knee, looks okay. There we go. Right now, the areas that we're probably going to have the biggest problem with are the arms. They're probably going to have quite an area of influence on the side of the body here. So if I have a little look and come down and look at my my shoulder, which is just here and yeah that's far too much area of influence there so I need to get right in and remove that there we go that's much better much better area of influence and we can see there with the elbow going down that, that again why would we want to move half the guy's body we wouldn't so that would just deform our mesh beyond all recognition yeah that's fine again right shoulder we just double check it over here let's get right in underneath there and remove that area and as you can see, as I do this, it it's sort of, um, we need to click on the actual corners of the mesh to get rid of it. I think that's enough. So when I click, I'm kind of clicking into the corners here. There we go, we can see that's not necessary bits of the gun there the rest looking good and the hand okay my falls gone according to plan most of that should be okay now and I've got a feeling that the lower spine probably could do with some adding to it yeah these areas here are not painted in so I'll just finish that by going on to add oh I've got strength of zero that's not going to do anything is it I'll pop 
up that to 30%. strength to this area here. That's it. And if I, now you can see the difficulty in trying to get under these arms. It's obviously much better to pose in a T position with the arms out to the side. This is actually easy for modeling, putting it this way, but it's much harder when it comes to this rigging. And we won't be facing some of these issues that we've got here had it been done that particular way. Okay, so the way to test this now would be literally just to grab my rotate tool up here and to go for something like, let's start off with the left um, thigh we just pull this so we can see it and make sure it's okay and as I bend that I'm just looking for anything odd that might be coming with it that's not so that's good try the knee and the knee's looking okay I just check the back of that knee let's undo that each time I, I've moved it I'm just pressing undo afterwards yeah that looks good that's the area that we usually see on a character when we're making them run as a third person because we tend to put the, car the camera behind them. And I've not set up any IK on this because what you have to do is bake the IK in and to be honest I'm just looking for getting this across as simply and easily as possible. So we can see that's a bit of an issue there. I could probably do with smoothing that out but for this example it will be fine. And again, the knee, just make sure the knee is okay. It looks good. Next area that we're probably going to have trouble with is just the shoulders again. So we want to check that the shoulder's bending okay backwards and forwards. And that seems to be working okay, which is good because when we animate those moving backwards and forwards in a walk or run cycle, we want them to look as smooth as possible. Again, just check that. Yeah, that's looking good. There's you don't bend backwards, you're only going to bend forwards, so there's no need to worry about it. Back. And finally, right shoulder. A bit of deformation on the mesh there, but I should think we'd be okay with that. And yeah, that's looking good. Okay, well, I'm going to save this. I'm going to save it as man weighted. And the reason for, for doing these saves along the way is just to ensure that as we come back to this, if there's a problem, we can get back to a good saved version.